everybody, welcome back. This picture is the final result of the uh, final cut and polish of the Camaro Z28 paint. And uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of shots of the material that we used, and then I'm going to let Marco uh, do the, uh, the you'll see, hear the uh, natural audio and, and of Marco explaining the compounds. This one, compound, this one. Right. And then for uh, ultra polish, those ones. You can remove all the mark from the buffing. Yeah. This one or that one. And those are the ones that you remove the scratches with. This is the remove. This is the compound. That's what. That's the. That's the number one that will remove the scratches. Well, after remove the scratches, we use either or. I see. Because this is to remove the mark, the right. buffing left from using the compound. And this one does pretty much the last step to remove That's the all the last part. step. Yeah. Right. They make the paint like this. Right. And also the last step is just the regular wax. You know, the cherry right. one that they look like the right. part, look right. like, like glass, yeah. But yeah, that's what it is. Great. So now the rest of this video is gonna show you uh, the process that we went through uh, to cut and polish the car. So uh, as you heard him explain all the different materials that he uses, uh, there's probably four or five different steps that he has to go through um, across the entire car from bumper to bumper. So uh, in this shot, you, you can see me, I'm, I'm kind of going around and, and uh, blocking uh, some of the dirt out of the paint and so on and uh, so we had to do that on each and every single panel of the car and uh, the whole process took us four and a half days and you know it was every day pretty much all day uh, just going across the entire car with the four or five different steps and as you can see here you know, he does a small area of each panel at a time, and he goes through the entire uh, step process with each one of the compounds. And in the process, you know, we were, we were uh, fixing all the flaws and uh, touching things up and so on and so forth. So it's a tedious, long process. But I tell you, the, the, the final product is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the car is every bit a show quality paint job now, which you'll see at the end of this video. So I'm just going to kind of let it go through here. I'm speeding it up um, in some of the places just to kind of show you the overall concept of, of the entire process. So and here I'm blocking out the, the roof of the car. And, you know, again, I was just kind of giving them a little head start on that. Um, both uh, Marco and Francisco went around the car and pretty much cleaned up some of the dirt that was in it. We got all the imperfections out, smoothed it out, got all the orange peel out and so on, which is pretty common when you first paint the car. But in this case, uh, we got it all out. And as you'll see, it was well worth all the time and effort. And I want to point out, too, that during the whole process, it's interesting to watch him work because he'll use a flashlight to... Um, highlight some of the areas that he's looking at and working on and you know some of the panels went quickly and others he spent a long time you know perfecting each section of of that particular panel so and I'm focusing in here on that rear quarter panel of which he's already gone through a number of the processes already and at any given time, I thought the car looked great the way it was, but then he just kept working on it. It kept getting better and better. So I'm extremely happy with the result.
And as I mentioned, you know, a lot of this is sped up, but but in real time, you know, I mean, just just working on this one little panel right here, he spent, you know, several minutes just working away at, at that. And again, you know, it, it really is what separates the men from the boys on the final polish. And then here he's using that, that final compound that he uses to get all the fine scratches out of there. there there's definitely an art to the cut and polish process i've done it but i don't enjoy it and i just don't have the skill that these guys do who do it every single day and here as i mentioned he uses a flashlight to kind of highlight each area to pick up some of the finite flaws that he still has to work on. And again, at this point, the, the trunk lid already looks like glass, but, but he's looking for any kind of perfection, uh, imperfection that's there that he can work f further on. And I mean, as you can see here, this is the final result of that area that he was just working on. And when I took this shot, I thought that it was the final result. But then I saw him putting yet another polished compound on it, which is the final, final step. And then it got even deeper than it looks here. So, and even at this point, it looks beautiful. Another thing that you have to really be careful about when you're doing a cut and polish on a car is that you don't burn through the clear. You know, if you burn through the clear with that, with that grinder or with the polishing compound or the polish pad, then you literally have to repaint that whole area of the car over again. Start from ground zero using the flashlight again. And then in this shot, he's using the, the actual final polish. And if you'll notice the pad on the, on the DA sander is, is different now. And then, uh, and then he uses, after that, he does the uh, hand polishing. And to just give you an example, he spent an entire day on just the top of the car and then spent an entire day on just the hood. So it's definitely a long, tedious process that I would say that most people don't bother going through. I've seen many, many cars painted that have not obviously gone through this process. Unless, it, unless it's a show car, of course. This is one of the reasons why paint jobs are so expensive, if you get them done right.
And if you notice all the different pads that he's used during this video, there's probably four or five different pads that he's used. And here is, he's starting on the hood. And like I said, he spent the entire day on this hood. And even when I thought he was finished, I came back the next day and he was still working on the hood. So when it's all said and done, this is the absolute final product after four and a half days of polishing. And as you can see, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Could not be happier. There isn't a flaw in this paint anywhere. And I'm just going to let the camera speak for itself here. This is pretty much at the end of the video and at the end of this paint job. So my next video on the car is going to be, I'm going to be starting on the engine build and uh, getting the car back to my shop. So I'll be starting a whole series of videos on the engine build. So I'm going to sign off at this point, let the camera speak for itself here. And, uh, Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. I really appreciate it. It helps support the channel. And again, next video on this car will be on the engine build. So thank you so much for watching.